Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am Chris from iLeather.com and today we're going to do a shaving video and we're going to use Sterling Ozark and let's go ahead and get loading while we're talking about nice green scent on this. It smells like walking through the woods with pine trees or evergreens. Um, scent strength is pretty stout. I'd call it about an eight. Today we're going to use the uh, original Plasson. You don't see that a lot and Charcoal razor, which I absolutely love. Fantastic razor. All right, let's get our load on. Um, this scent, like I said, really bright, fresh, um, crisp green. It's the best way I can uh, describe it. And as you know, with Sterling soaps, this is going to be an excellent performer. I never have any question at all when it comes to Sterling. I know I'm going to get a great experience every single time. The quality is quite good. The price is good. It's just excellent overall, in my view. And today, I'm sure will be no exception. And that scent is just coming right out. Uh, again, if you if you want a like an evergreen type of scent, um, this is it. You might want to try. Uh, now, if you don't like that sort of thing, it is not for you because it's really stout, and uh, you know it really pops. So, if you like it, if you like that sort of scent, you're going to love it. If you don't want a pine or evergreen type scent, you're not going to like it at all. All right, looks like we've got a great load. Let's uh, wet the face and get going. Stay tuned. And all right, so let's see how we do today with the Sterling Ozark. And I already know it's going to be great. It's going to be a great start to the Monday. It's Monday back to work. But uh, we'll start off the week with an excellent shave and hopefully That'll set the tone for an excellent week at work, get things accomplished, and do a great job, hopefully. That's always the goal every single week, or at least it's my goal. I hope it's yours too. Do the best job you can at work. And uh, this stuff lathers beautifully and easily. Can't say enough good things about Sterling. It's just a phenomenal soap, from my point of view. Been doing it for a while now. And they're very good at it. Very good indeed. One of the uh, best soaps quality-wise, I think, that can be had. I mean, the, sh the quality is just excellent. Okay. Wanna go again? As I said again today with the uh, charcoal razor, which I've been loving. Really nice. Zero buyer's remorse on this guy. And that thing is just like butter on this uh, soap. Just gliding effortlessly, which is excellent. I've been very impressed with this razor and the timeless. Both of them are, I mean... Just fantastic. And um, some people, or let me put it a different way. A lot of people hadn't heard much about charcoal or timeless prior to, you know, some folks making videos. So now I see a, a lot more people have shown some interest, or at least I've heard that from timeless and Brian from charcoal. And that's great because these are really excellent razors they are pricey but boy are they well made and and uh, both of them just do an excellent job and honestly it's hard for me to grab for other razors and keep from grabbing these <laughs> the charcoal and the timeless i'm absolutely love them okay let's rinse the face come back for pass two and all right so that first pass went exactly as I thought it would. Fantastic. Absolutely superb. Razor gliding, you know, just doing a wonderful job. And uh, again, that's what I expected. That's what I expect from Sir Sterling. And of course, you know, what I expect from the razor. Um, and it did exactly what I thought it would do which was provide for a really nice comfortable shave so when something just works together that way and it's just really comfortable and smooth 
That's what you want. You know, no discomfort whatsoever, just a really smooth and nice experience. And uh, <clears throat> when that happens, it makes it very enjoyable. And it happens almost every day here on this channel. Every now and then, I'll get something that's new and I'm not familiar with, or maybe it doesn't do as well. But by and large, most of our equipment works pretty doggone good. And uh, we have a nice shave every single day here. And that's really enjoyable. And we, of course, share that time with you folks. And I hope you guys, uh, when you're having your shaves, you enjoy it as much as I do. That's the objective, <laughs> to have that, you know, say 15 minutes. Some people take as long as a half an hour, and I say go for it. Um, enjoy your shave, enjoy your time. It's sort of, uh, you know, it's one of those few times where you're by yourself, you know, and uh, you just get a sh chance to focus on you. And I think that's in part why it's so enjoyable to just sort of pamper yourself for a few minutes because, you know, the rest of the day is going to be hectic at work or with the kids and, you know, what have you. So take this time and enjoy it. And I certainly am. All right, great pass two. Stand by, we'll come back for pass three. And all right, here we go, pass three. It's been a beautiful shave thus far. Soap working really nicely as is the razor and the blade. The blade is Astra SP. And I have two shades on that blade, so this is the last one. But it's still working pretty good. Um, I generally go three shades with the blade. Four sometimes, if it, but usually three. Blades are inexpensive, so there's no need to really, you know, push a blade. And if you feel a blade deteriorating during the shave to the point where it's uncomfortable, just switch it. You could switch it right in the middle of the shave. There's nothing to, nothing to say you can't. I have no reason whatsoever to push a blade beyond its useful, you know. Or push it beyond, when, you, when it starts tugging, you know, um, you're not gonna gain anything from pushing the blade other than maybe irritation, weepers and the rest. So there's really no need to push a blade. Just change it. Blades are the one thing in this hobby that are very inexpensive, so. I just change it. All right. Okay, looks like we're ready to go here. Let's cut that off or cut it back a little bit. And get this third pass underway. And it's been smooth as silk so far. And I would imagine that it will continue throughout this third pass. Just have really enjoyed it. And uh, that's what it's all about, really. Got some other videos coming um, that I've shot uh, top 10 lists and, you know, different things like that that people have been enjoying. So I got more of that coming. And I try to uh, <clears throat> release one of those in the morning. And then I put the Shea video up in the afternoon and Sometimes others, depending on the way I feel. But got a lot of material coming, so if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when the new <clears throat> excuse me, when the new content comes, you'll be ready for it. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Certainly thankful for that. And hopefully it's beneficial. Hopefully you learn about some of these great products like charcoal that you might not have otherwise known about. And again, I can't say enough good things about the razor and the customer service at charcoal. Really excellent. And uh, I'm a fan. <laughs> not afraid to admit it. This is one of my favorite razors. And it hasn't take, taken long to get to that point because it's absolutely superb. 
All right, let's rinse the face. We'll come back to the post. Stay tuned. All right, and then comes the magic made by witches. There is witch hazel. This, of course, has aloe, and it is great stuff. And really, I think helps my skin. It's an astringent, and the aloe helps you know, with keep the face moist and all the rest of it. Very nice stuff. Uh, before we get to our aftershave, which today will be Sterling Green, let's talk a little bit about our gear. Um, <clears throat> Sterling Ozark. If you like that, like evergreen type scent, woods. This is great um, if you like that sort of scent. Not bad at all. And, of course, we use the old school Poisson. You don't see those much anymore, but today we took it for a spin. And the charcoal razor with Astra SP blade. This thing is absolutely functional art. It is outstanding. I love it. And for the aftershave today, again, previously mentioned, Sterling Green. And we're going with the green theme today. And this one sort of smells a little like uh, Polo Green, the old classic cologne by Ralph Lauren, I believe. And it'll be a nice match for Ozark. Well, similar, not exactly the same, but it does have that green scent. And just like that, we've had another great shave. I want to thank all of you for watching. Make sure you subscribe um, and stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of good content coming your way, or at least I hope it's good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.